Timberwolves put up their season high for points in a game, winning by 20 in Austin, Texas versus the San Antonio Spurs, who probably have the least talented roster in the NBA, and they were still sitting out like their seven or eight best players on top of that. So, of course, a game the Wolves should have won, and one that they did handily in the end, but a type of game the Timberwolves have been dropping all season long, and it looked like the same thing might happen again. The defensive intensity was lacking. Tied 35-35 in the first quarter, the Spurs were getting so many buckets, and that's always been the issue in these kind of trap games, is that we wouldn't bring the defense right away, and even when we try to turn on the switch, it wouldn't really be enough. And once you give NBA caliber players a couple shots going in, they seriously get elevated. Wouldn't be an issue all the way through as the second half would come with a big time response from the Wolves. They'd make at least their first seven threes of that quarter, including back-to-back -back Jane threes very early in the half that really kind of propelled them to a big time lead. Early on, Anthony Edwards was also spectacular. He had 16 points in the first quarter. He was just so much better than everybody on the court. Even in the backcourt, he's just ripping the ball from people. He's like, I know this is a bad play. I'm doing it anyway. I'm just better. And so him being that good early on was important when this game wasn't a complete blowout. The bench was also stellar early on. They were 9 of 10 shooting the ball in the first half. Big recovery game from Nikhil Alexander-Walker, who shot the shit out of the ball and was just incredible in just about all aspects of the game. When he's making open looks and bringing the other dynamic aspects of his game, it's really great seeing him out there. Another person who shot the ball great, Mike Conley, 5 of 7 from 3 tonight. He is in a really great, okay, dance, shooting the basketball from three right now. And him being an aggressive offensive threat is really huge for the potential of this team to really be dangerous. Main downers of this game were defense and rebounding. We had the same amount of rebounds as the Spurs, which maybe doesn't seem that bad, but when you look at who we were playing and how many bigs they have out, and we have Cat and Gobert, it's a problem that we don't have big rebound advantages with the lineups we run. And of course, the individual player that you associate with most on this team, defense and rebounding as their thing, Gobert, I thought it was just terrible tonight, too. Like, Mamu Kelashvili, who has just such an epic name, was dominating him for long stretches, getting no boards out of him, and just making a lot of really skillful, fancy plays, too. Like, Gobert just did not look good in that game at all. Wolves play again tomorrow on a back-to-back -back at home against the Pelicans, who are the team directly above them. We're in the ninth seed, they're in the eighth seed. It's an important game that could catapult us out of ninth and go up a spot or two. Can't finish lower than that. I'll be in attendance on Easter Sunday, Prim Low game. Let's see how it goes.